Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football Hobby Edition. Six box, pick your team, number six. Six, six. There you go, all card chip. A lot of great stuff in here. You know, you know what this is all about. Let's flip here. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Now, if you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that team random that we rolled. If you have two rooftops next to your name, that means you won a team random spot, then got a team in the team random. So a couple inception layers there. But however you got into the action, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I appreciate everybody getting in. And hopefully this case will cooperate with you and get you some nice stuff. Remember, uh, Sean marked all of these six so we all know that they're from the same case. break right here all right good luck everybody um, I'm, I'm some of you for entertainment purposes I like to invest in a, I like to invest in the fortunes of a particular sports team to win or lose a game by a predetermined amount of points I like to make those investments for entertainment purposes only, and I'm looking at the picks that I made for investing in tomorrow's games, and I actually don't like them anymore. Why did I? I, I think A, I picked way too many. All right. I'm going. I'll, here, here's my first pick Sunday early game picks. I'm going Detroit plus three. I think they get a new coach. Oh, we'll get to that game, Mitchell. A new coach bump. Players hate Matt Patricia. They hate Matt Patricia. I think they're so happy that he's gone. They've got a whole week without him. And I feel like they just want to, to show out just to embarrass Matt Patricia again. There's Michael P. Ryan to 149. Red Wave. And we're going to sleeve all these uh, all these uh, rookie cards as well. Most of them will be top-loaded. There's Rob Gronkowski to 175. I think they I, th I think they're going to do it. Chicago, it's a bit a bit of a bit of a mess there. Maybe maybe Detroit doesn't win, but but Jack Doyle orange to 349. Jeremy Chin, and there's our first Justin Herbert. Now, what, what was Brad L. was saying earlier that where there is a Justin Herbert, there should be a Tua in here somewhere? So we'll find out. Chargers, Bruce. And there's Joe Thomas for the Browns. Camo to 25. That'll be for John Alfies and Cleveland. Kurt had the Colts. He'll get that Jack Doyle. And there's a couple rookies right here. There's the Tua. Wow. Is this a thing? I mean, now it's more than... It's more than just coincidence. It's a trend. It's more than a trend. It's a pattern of behavior that we're seeing. So, I don't know. Keep an eye out. Impress your friends when you're watching... Other video, you shouldn't be watching any other breaks. You can press your friends here in the Jaspies chat. Don't go anywhere else. Fred, Fred Warner to 125. Don't touch that dial. All right, here, speaking of two, here's another crazy pick. I don't know why I picked this. Cincinnati plus 10 and a half at Miami. I mean, I just that's just too many points. Double digit points? I mean, that's way too many points. Miami's not that good. There's Julian Aguara to 175. Right. Speaking of Jack Doyle in Indianapolis, Indianapolis minus three at Houston. 
And we've got, oh, I, I saw I saw Dolphins colors, but there's Noah Ogbino Gay. I've seen, I, I have seen Cincy, but I've, you're telling plus ten and a half. You got it. That, that's that's the classic play the number, not the team situation. I I think. I think that's what some professionals like to say. <laughs> I'm far from a professional. If you if you go to the uh, break schedule, folks, my I have Joe I have a Joe's picks tab. I'm a. Uh, I'm 48, 53, and 3, a 46.15 percent against the spread. Tannehill goes to Walter and the Titans. Uh, see, I don't know if I like this either. There's DeAndre Swift. There you go. Remember, I'm taking the Lions plus three. We'll see how that works out for me. That'll be for the Lions. That'll be for Jack and the Lions. Oh, you saw some purple and yellow fly? It probably wasn't a rookie, though, because all the rookies are in the same spot. We're looking for uh, Justin Jefferson. There's Anthony Harris. We're looking for Justin Jefferson's for for Raul, Robbie Rob. There's Bryce Love to 249. Saints, minus 2.5. Road, short road favorites at Atlanta. I see. I don't know if I like that anymore either. There's Quez Watkins to seventy-five. Oh, and that's our that's our last one. Let me sleeve up these rookies. Maybe. Atlanta's the short home dogs. They're playing for their coach. They like their new coach. They don't. They want him to stay. Stay as a head coach, maybe. Saints maybe have quarterback question mark. They do have quarterback question marks. Is Taysom Hill that good? Atlanta's seeing them for the second time. See you, Thomas. Thanks, man. Yep. How's it going? Atlanta's seeing them for the second time, so maybe that works against me. Damn. What team has let me down the most? Hmm. Probably, I think early. I stopped betting. I, I stopped investing in this team uh, after early, soon, pretty soon after that. But the Chargers, I think the Chargers early in the season were were kind of were kind of brutal. You know, like losing a, uh, you know, losing a. Uh, games in just almost every way imaginable. I got trouble with the curve on uh, on MLB Network. I actually don't mind this movie. I thought I thought it was a lot better than I thought. I, I always forget that. I always remember Clint Eastwood's in it. Amy Adams is in it. I like Amy Adams. I always forget that Justin Timberlake is in this movie. Let's forget about that. I like seeing all the old scouts sitting, sitting around though. Rob's close personal friends with Amy Adams. There you go. She seems she she seems nice. Rob seems nice, so I guess Amy is nice too. Knuckleball, I enjoy. That was a good movie. I think on the flicks. Uh, Fastball. That was another good movie. Fastball. Walter thinks Trouble with the Curve is amazing. <laughs> I like I like I like grumpy old Clint Eastwood. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, need, I don't need your help. 
My eyes are fine. I've been scouting baseball for a long time. I don't need you here. I don't need you here. You're thinking, was that five shots or six? I'm wondering, in all the excitement, I've lost count myself. And then do you feel lucky and so on and so forth. Bruce Smith. Yeah. I see the snake skin right here. That's a case hit. And it's Raheem Moster. Fantasy-wise, this guy disappointed me this season. No, through no fault of his own. He got injured, I guess. So what are you going to do? But I drafted him thinking he was going to be a steady running back for me. A low-key good running back for me. That goes to the Niners. Alifonso, maybe next year. There's Derrick Henry. He's pretty solid, though. And look at this. Blue cracked ice to 99. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Yum. It's like the Red Robin song. That goes to Jack Vane with his strong hit here. There you go. 56 out of 99. Nice. Joey B. Joey B. Good. Joe time. Yeah, that's right, G-Lo. Second coolest Joe after me. So once again, Cincinnati Bengals, Jack Vane. There you go, Jack. Nice Joey B for you. I want to say that's one of our first parallels of Joe Burrow that I think I've seen. I feel like I haven't seen too many Joe Burrow parallels. There's Nate Stanley, Silver, Kyle Juszczyk. 175. Well, that was rookie silver Nate Stanley. Let's put some respect on this card for Rob. Check's in the mail, Gilo. Check is in the mail. Ooh, look at this. A blue wave to 199. Blue wave Patrick Mahomes, the second. That'll be for Chris Fedor and the Kansas City Chiefs. What's a case of these going for? I actually don't know. What are we charging for personal boxes on jaspies.com? Here's points. Winner take all on the points, by the way. So whatever that is times 12. That's the, that's the case cost. To 249, Cooper Cup. Justin Timberlake in this movie. And a base Joe Burrow. Oh, sorry, Derek Brown. Base Joe Burrow. Another one for Jack. Bought the Bengals straight up. Ooh. So we got the cracked eyes Joe Burrow, and now... We've got a Silver Tua Tungo Vailoa autograph. Dolphins. Jack Vane with the fish. You got a you got a nice catfish combo right here, Jack. Woo! That's nice. There's Grant Del Pitt, Camo to 25, Danucci, and Blacklock. 
Cole Beasley, Eric Armstead to 125. And then we got Clavon Chasen and Cam Akers as your rookies. Ooh. Jack, nice. All right, let's scoot this back into my into that container there. And let's, yeah, let's uh, sleeve these rookies and move on to the next box. No worries, Jack. Those were the two teams that you purchased straight up. So I'm glad you were uh, rewarded for your boldness there. I appreciate that. Could have easily gone the other way. I still got a lot of boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Those points will be randomized at the end. If we find any more points, we'll group them together as one lot. And randomize it to one person in the break. All right. Next box. Most of that was not Amy Adams actually playing pool. Timberlake's in this movie. All right, let's go. There's Kyler Murray right there. There's Juju Smith Schuster, 38 out of 99 for the Steelers. Speaking of Kyler Murray, Folks, Sunday late game picks. Rams at Cardinals. I am taking the Cardinals plus three. All that Cardinal talk the other day. How could I not pick the Cardinals? There's Chris Godwin to 149. Red Wave for the Bucks. That'll be for Mark. I learned all about Cardinals the other day, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think they're too common out here in Los Angeles. There's another Joe Burrow, base Joe Burrow. 
It's Alvin Kamara, Hyper, Isaiah Simmons, Devin Duvernay. I feel like the, the Cardinals play better as, uh, as dogs. They're back home. I think they're in the comforts of, uh, comforts of Arizona. They lot they, the games that they, they, they lost a squeaker to New Orleans, you know, uh, to New England, that is different new team. Oh, nice Justin Jefferson, orange 249 for Rob and the Vikings. Wait, which one gets a train whistle now, David? My Cardinals pick? There's Devin White to 75. Maybe we'll find some ink, Justin. This is more points, more points. So we'll add that to that points pile. Winner take all on the points. I don't know. I think, I think, the only thing is, Mitchell, it seems, sounds like you're a Cardinals fan. What, what's going on with uh, Kyler Murray's wing? Is that okay? It was Blake Jarwin to 125. I feel like that's kind of what let him down a bit in that New England game. And Yeah, my Cardinals pick. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they, they should have they should have beat New England. There's Zach Moss. I know they're playing a rivalry game. I know they're playing a rivalry game, but uh, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm just counting on Jared Goff to be inconsistent. There's Zach Moss to 149 for the Bills. Buffalo, Jason Fractor. Is Cardinal is the Indiana State bird. Someone also said it was the Virginia State bird. There's Jared Pinckney to 175. Rex is saying, fun fact, female Cardinals are not red. They're always brown. And not Cardinal facts, folks. That I did not know. There's rookie silver Raekwon Davis. That'll be for Miami. That'll be for Jack. And then there is Justin Tucker. Blue Wave autograph for Jack. And then the Ravens. It's to 199 Josh Allen to 249 All right, let's see about these rookie cards and do some more boxes here. Yes, Matthew, sure is. Every every Friday, Saturday night, as usual, on Instagram Live at Jaspie's Breaks. I think, feel like, see, I think he's doing something right now. Sometimes uh, Nick and I will look at old prism videos from way back in prism, like basketball. How many Giannis Silvers that we've <laughs> seen. Um, back then they weren't, I mean, back then he wasn't worth anything. Nowadays. Ooh, yeah, Kyler back in MVP talks. Yeah, if he finished the season strong. You know, maybe if the if 
Do the Cardinals have a shot at winning the division? I feel like they do. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. He it would follow that trend of sort of mobile quarterbacks. Mahomes won. And then uh and then Lamar Jackson won, and then Kyle Murray. Yeah, the hob hobby has changed. No, Mint says Hawk has an... Oh, Mint, sorry, I, you had a question, right? What was your question? I, I, sorry about that. I think I got distracted by bird talk or something. What do you, you asked what I thought about this, right? I think it's solid. Prism, Prism is a solid product year to year. And uh, I think this year is no different. Design's cleaned up a little bit, I think. It's less busy in the background. I think it's I think it's pretty uh, I think it's pretty solid. You know, the secondary market value is nice as well. I think the hobby has been growing, so there's been a lot more interest in this. So it's not just about getting. La back in the day, years ago, it would it would have to be you either had to get an autograph or you know you, you didn't really have a good break. But now a few a few parallels here and there, you know, if you luck into a nice autograph, then it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And uh, David, yes, I, I think I think the, as soon as the Raiders have a home game, um, I think as soon as the Raiders have a home game, yeah, I think I'll I'll be going to Vegas for that. There's Travis Kelsey to one seventy five hyper, which it doesn't seem like it's going to be. I mean, by probably next year. It's gonna, there's only a few games left, and it doesn't look like, with the COVID cases now, it doesn't look like uh, the city is going to allow that to happen. So it probably won't be until next season, but yeah, I'm going I'm to plan on it. It should be a lot of fun. There's Javon Curse to 199 for Walter and the Titans. Corey saying is yeah, as soon as soon as that that second vaccine needle is out, he's setting up a resin taking up residency at at uh, XS, which is not a which is not a bad spot. Say Bridgewater. Derek Henry to 149. Walter and the Titans. Kyle Rudolph to 175. And Yetter Gross Matos, Carolina Panthers, John Alfie's cat team. What other games do I have that I'm not happy about anymore now that I look at it? I should probably not enjoy tall, cool glasses of Jameson while I'm doing these. Philadelphia plus nine and a half. At Green Bay. I think Green Bay pretty much has the division wrapped up, right? These guys aren't catching them. Bears aren't catching them. Lions aren't catching them. I think they maybe fall asleep a little bit. You know, I think they take it a little easy. 
I think they fall asleep a little bit, and I think I think the Eagles are mad. They've lost a few. They've lost a few in a row. They're not happy. There's our RPA, Keyshawn Vaughn, jersey and autograph. That'll be for Mark in Tampa Bay. 62 out of 99. So I think maybe the Packers take the foot off the gas a little bit. The Eagles playing for a little bit of pride. There's a Justin Jefferson rookie there. Plus nine and a half. That's a lot. That's a lot of points. I heard a crazy... Uh, Heard a crazy trend on this on a podcast the other day. There's Tyrod Taylor, green scope for the Chargers, Bruce. That teams, this is kind of crazy. Oh, there's Jeff Gladney, rookie silver. Teams on a three-game losing streak. Aaron Rodgers against teams in a three-game straight-up losing streak. Those teams have gone seven and one against Aaron Rodgers against the spread. Six of those games were in Lambeau. The team that lost, there's one twenty-five Minka Fitzpatrick. The team that lost was a uh, was a Dan Quinn team. <laughs> Numbers don't lie until they do. Steelers, Jack. So now let me sleeve all these, and we'll go from there. So there's my goofy trend of the, of the day. What do you got for me, Corey? Teams that score 16 are more likely to win than teams that score 21. That's crazy. I can't wrap my uh, head around that. All right, and Walters like Packers are more likely to be. This is true. They are, they are the favorites. But Philadelphia getting plus nine and a half points, though? Jeremy T, what's going on? I know the color busts are crazy value, but currently, do you think those hold value long term as a rookie card? I don't know. That's a very good question. I feel like they've been. I feel like. I feel like we've seen color blasts in a lot of different products. I'd be curious to know, like, if they maybe they, if they don't put. Put products in any, you know, put color blasts in anything else. If they just kept them in Prism, maybe that would be good. So I'm not sure. I hope they do because I think they look really sharp too. I think out of all like the like those and the, the the downtown cards still seem to be reselling pretty well. So I feel like those downtown cards are similar to uh, you know to the color blast cards. I think at the end of the day you know people are still going to want like the rookie silvers. You know what I mean? They'll actually want the actual rookie card itself. But I I, I I would imagine that those color blast cards would be, uh, especially how rare they are in Prism this year. Um, I think I would imagine that they would be not too far behind the regular rookie card. I think the regular rookie cards will obviously be the, the main the main draw, but I hope they do hold the value because they do look sharp. Right, Gilo. Like Packers always have a weird, questionable loss every year, right? What if that's? I mean, oh, wait, they lost to the. Didn't they lose to the Bear? No, maybe that's something. Uh, yeah, maybe Philadelphia will, will do that. Hey, I, I don't need them to win though. I just need them. I just need them to cover. Uh, I'm taking New England plus one and a half at the Chargers because I don't want to bet on Anthony Lynn anymore. Or I, I haven't really since early in the season, but just watch those games. You know, last year, 
or last game, I'm pretty sure I saw Anthony Lynn run out the field goal team in the fourth quarter with under 30 seconds left, and they were down by a touchdown. I mean, I mean, that's just that's just wild. What was he thinking? Is he trying? Is he trying to get fired? He just wasn't fooling anybody. That's right, Juan. So that's why I'm... And remember, and Juan saying Packers tend to play down to their uh, to the team that they're playing. If they're under 500 or whatever, to with losing records, right. So that's why I think Eagles, three-game losing streak, they're not happy about that. That team's not happy. You know, they want to come out strong. I don't know if they win the game, but... There's Marlon Humphrey, but at plus nine and a half, almost double digit points, I could not, could not avoid that. That's a good lottery ticket, Brendan. Those big parlays are always kind of fun. There's another Justin Jefferson, James Morgan. I'm also regretting this pick. New York Giants plus 11 at Seattle. I don't know. As good as Seattle's offense has been, their defense is a little suspect. They, they let the Eagles sneak back into the game in the fourth quarter. Truth be told, I don't think they've been winning a lot of games by double digits. It's Keelan Doss, Josh Allen, Blue Wave. To 199, Elaire, Gandy Golden. There's Antonio Gandy Golden to 249, Jalen Hurts and Brandon Ayuk. And there's Anthony Gordon, Seattle Seahawk, former Washington State Cougar, turned into a from a cat turned into a bird, didn't leave the state. This goes to Darren Porter and the Hawks of the Sea. All right, and what's my other crazy pick? Sunday night football. I'm laying the big number. I'm laying almost two touchdowns with the Chiefs. There's Max Crosby for my Raiders. Who's got my Raiders? That's EA with the silver and black. And look at this. We love it. Jay Hart going to Jack who won a spot in the team random and he won the Packers and he gets the J love. Nice J heart for Jack. What a break for him. I wonder if he, is he going to be the future post a rod? There's Cam Newton. To 125. Aaron Rodgers to 175. Kenneth Murray, CJ Anderson. KJ Wright, Blue Wave. To 199.
Is Aaron Rodgers actually mentoring him though, Juan? I mean, maybe he is. Maybe he's just like, yeah, I don't care. This is how football works. Let me sleeve all these rookies. We'll get to the last box. So those are my wild picks. I got Detroit plus three, Cincinnati plus ten and a half, or Detroit plus three at Chicago, Cincinnati plus ten and a half at Miami. Why am I taking road teams? Oh, this is not good. I've, I've taken all road teams? Oh boy, this is not going to be a good week for me. Detroit plus three at Chicago, Cincinnati plus ten and a half at Miami. I've taken road dogs and road favorites, Indiana minus three at Houston. New Orleans minus two and a half at Atlanta. Oh, the one home team I took were the Cardinals. Short home dogs, which is actually not, not a bad play usually. Short home dog, Arizona Cardinals hosting the Rams, Arizona plus three. Uh, Philly plus nine and a half at Green Bay. New England plus one and a half at uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. New York Football Giants plus 11 at Seattle. And Kansas City minus 13 and a half at Denver. Oh, okay, so Juan is saying from what he's... Oh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is a regular guest on the McAfee show, right? Pat McAfee? But he's definitely helping him out. That's good. It's kind of a weird... Uh... It was... It, it... Sports is a weird thing, right? Where they're they're you're all they're all you're always they're always drafting potentially for your replacement, whether you're a lineman or a receiver, defensive back, and then obviously quarterbacks a high profile position. So, I mean, you're almost they're almost always at some point they'll draft even if you're as great as Aaron Rodgers. At some point they're going to be drafting your replacement, which is wild. So then. But then, like, as a professional, then you also have to maybe be asked to to be a teammate as well. Because now, now he's a teammate still, even though he might be a replacement. So now Aaron Rodgers in this goofy position where he's just like, well, kind of have to... Maybe he's just angry. I guess he's angry with the team. But maybe he can't be angry at the individual. It's not his fault. It's not Jordan Love's fault, so... You help him out, so I guess Aaron Rodgers is a good guy, Aaron Rodgers. Good guy, Aaron Rodgers. Trouble in the trouble with the curve in the background. I guess if you're gonna have Justin Timberlake in a movie, you gotta put him into a dance sequence. How could you not? Final box, ladies and gentlemen. Darren Fells to one forty nine. Donald Driver to 199. Ooh, and a base Joe Burrow. Another one for Jack and the Bengals. Donald Driver. Raheem Mostert to 249, orange. Just 
And there's Jamal Adams, blue cracked ice to 99. Jake Luton, rookie silver. Kalen Bellage to 125. Akers and Pittman Jr. Pittman Jr. is starting to come on too. Rex says, I barely know anything about football, so I'm going to pretend we're talking about Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Drew Bledsoe, and Jerome Bettis. And we know exactly when Rex started to stop paying attention to football. Uh, Jordan Love is kind of like a Drew Bledsoe, I guess. Jordan loves like Drew Bledsoe who can who can like a Drew Bledsoe who can run around a little bit. He's got a little more movement. There's Minshew right here to 175. I don't think there's been as sort of dynamic of a defensive back as Deion Sanders in a long time. There have been some who have come close, but but I mean Deion Sanders made a brand out of uh, out of himself, which I think is kind of amazing. There's Terrell Lewis, linebacker for the Los Angeles Rams. John Ryder with the Rams. KJ Hamler to 199. Blue Wave Denver Broncos EA. I guess they're, yeah, I guess they're letting me have my weekend, bro. And Cam Akers, running back. Uh, the, the Rams would love for Cam Akers to turn into a Bo Jackson type or even a Jerome Bettis. Remember, the Rams had Jerome Bettis for a little bit. And then what happened? Why did the, why the Rams trade Jerome Bettis? I forgot that story. There's Chase Claypool to 249. Did Deion Sanders do SNL? Yeah. I don't think there's been a defensive back since that has done SNL. I think they're, they've all been quarterbacks. Mostly Peyton, I think. I think Peyton's done it a couple times. There's Khalil Matt to 149. And the last two are Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Darrell Taylor. No relation? Relation? Don't know. Khalil Mack, Red Wave for Chicago. Jack. With that, Chase Claypool Orange for the Steelers. Jack with that. And Teddy Bruschi Silver will go into this pile right over here. The rookies I'll sleeve up later. Let's randomize a thousand points to somebody and then. And then uh, we'll do a quick recap. Let's flip right there. Anthony Lang down to Mark Bissett and everybody in between. Let's put their names in here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a one, five times. Five, one, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five. Name on top gets a thousand points, which is actually a decent amount of points. You can you can you can do some damage with that. Jason Fractor, Jason, I don't think I called your name all break, man. So maybe there is a bill earlier. We'll do a recap right now. But a thousand points going your way. There you go. You'll have those. And here we go with these. We had the Cam Akers, the Terrell Lewis, the Burrow, the Gordon, the uh, the Keyshawn Vaughn RPA, Gross Matos, Moss, Burrow, Burrow, Mahomes, Raheem Mostert, Snakeskin, DeAndre Swift, Silver. I think he's pretty underrated. I think you might see him in action more now that Patricia's out in uh, Detroit. Tua, Herbert. Jordan Love, Tua, Silver Autograph, Joe Burrow, Blue Cracked Ice. Woo! Nice break. Thanks very much, everybody. That was Pick Your Team 6 of the brand new 2020 Prism uh, Football Hobby Edition. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for more. There's more in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye.